More on a big day there regarding northern Syria. Ian, good morning, man. Capital, and it is a Syrian New Year. Look at some of this uh, beautiful art, and I really. It, I kind of forgot of, uh, how important this culture was throughout history. We're talking about the coat of Hammurabi, cuneiform, uh, the wheel, very, very important inventions and uh, things in our history. Uh, Ninorta is joining us this morning. Uh, are there a lot of Assyrians in the state of Arizona? There are, and it's a growing community, a very vibrant community. Um, I'm representing the Assyrian American Cultural Organization of uh, Arizona, and we're a non for profit organization, so we are celebrating the Assyrian New Year, um, also known as Akitu, which is the um, the longest celebration in history, the oldest celebration in history. Uh, the Assyrian people date back to the cradle of civilization. We're talking about Mesopotamia, kind of dust off those third grade elementary school books. Uh, very important throughout society. Oh, yes, absolutely. So we are mainly in northern Iraq, Syria, um, Turkey, Iran. So that's the main region. So we are uh, the indigenous people of that region. Wonderful. You have a great setup here. Talk to me about some of these uh, foods and uh, what they mean to the Assyrian people. Absolutely. So this is the Akitu table. Akitu is also known, um, another term for the Assyrian New Year, which means, uh, which translates to barley. Um, and barley was one of the main grains that we would harvest. Um, back in the homeland. So over here we have a lot of different things that represent a lot to the Assyrian community. We have multi-grain bread, um, and as you can see the different signs, um, we have an Enuma Elish book, which is the story of creation, um, wine, oil, um, we have a, a, a tree which represents the tree of life, um, fruits, candles, baklava, um, barley cookies, and seeds um, that we would put out um, for whenever guests would come over. Are people surprised at uh, how many things in modern day life the Assyrian culture touched? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think you mentioned it earlier, the wheel, and you said, oh, I drive a car, thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you for helping me get oh, to get to work this morning. Absolutely, you're very welcome. Uh, so you'll be out here uh, all day. Give me the skinny on yeah. what people can, ex uh, can expect. Yeah, so today we're actually, we're having a proclamation being read over at the House of uh, Representatives to proclaim April 1st as the Assyrian New Year. Um, and thank you to Representative Justin Wilma for spearheading that and for, so we're over here that today, we're called over here on the Senate lawn, it's Assyrian day we actually have a full-on festival coming up on April 3rd oh. at the Peoria Sports Complex on 83rd and Bell so if you want to take a look and, and experience the culture on a more heightened level mm -hmm. um, with live music entertainment food vendors food drinks like you name it it'll be there Peoria oh. Sports Complex April 3rd wonderful thank you so much for joining us they're gonna be out here this morning at the Capitol so hey maybe the kids are on spring break and you want to kind of uh, help them learn some some things always trying to be learning something new each day this is a free event at the capitol and you can learn all about the assyrian culture and if you're going to drive here you can thank an assyrian for helping to create the wheel to uh, help you get to the event down here at the capitol well there you go i had no idea ian that's uh, really cool thank you yeah mm -hmm.